Hello everyone, this is Bethany from Southern Couture today with such a fun video from Cricut. So I want to first say a big thank you to Cricut for um, allowing me to share all of this with you today, all about the brand new Easy Press 3. So I have had all the Easy Press machines and this one by far is the simplest and um, easiest to use because they are now making this machine with a Bluetooth capability to the Cricut Heat app, which is phenomenal. So we're gonna get into all of those fun details today. I'll talk more about the Easy Press 3, what you can expect to get when you purchase yours, what comes in the box, um, all of its basic features. And then I'm gonna show you this and another project that I have made using the Easy Press 3 as well but first I want to do start off with um, a little prayer because many um, if you have kiddos or grandkids they are now out of school enjoying hopefully their summer are going to be soon and they will be starting back to school in just a few months more than likely and I want to pray over all of those because all of our children need it so much right now as I am focusing these projects today on back to school as well and for summer so Lord we come before you and just pray over each and every child of those that are hearing this video, that they will be blessed with safety, with protection this summer, that they will have so much joy and enjoy themselves. I pray that as they begin back to school, that you keep them, that you put a hedge of protection around them. We plead your blood over these children, and we know that you will give them the knowledge to learn, to understand, but more than that, that they will learn and love you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, guys, so let's just go ahead and jump in. I'm going to move a few things out of the way so that we can talk more about this amazing machine. So you have an option now with the Easy Press 3. It comes in a couple different sizes. This one here is the smaller size, and it is by no means small. When I say smaller size, it is not small in general. It, this is the 9 by 9 inch, and um, it is incredible because of the size. A lot of times I get frustrated if like if you've ever used just a regular iron, you have to go over, you know, so many different times on places when you've done iron on because um, of the size. You know, you just don't have a large enough size. How much simpler it is to take it, do one press of heat, and you're done. It makes it so nice, and I just love that about this. Um, so, depending on what type of projects you're going to be working on, you may consider doing um, the larger size of the Easy Press, which I will show you too. So, this is the 9x9, nine nine, um, and then I'm going to show you, I'll move this one out of the way so that I can show you the larger size, which you probably just heard beep. But this is the larger one, which is a 12 by 10. So that 9 by 9 is not small, but this one is amazing. So the 9 by 9 is kind of like more for mid-size projects, t-shirts, tote bags, things like that. This is a larger size, which you could use for so many different things. Um, truly, the options are endless. I'm looking here because it's um, saying that this bigger size is for more larger projects like sweatshirts, blankets, um, you know, even shirts that have a um, larger design on them, it would be perfect for those. Now, I used this larger size for the projects that I'm going to share with you today just because I wanted to make sure that it would be a one-time press. I wouldn't have to do different sections and make sure that, you know, my material that I was pressing onto was going to be protected by heat because I was having to move it to different areas. Um, and so I didn't want to have to worry about that. So for me, the larger size is amazing because you just know that you're, you can't go wrong with it. You're going to be covered on all of your um, iron on or whatever material that you're going to be using. And that's why I, I do like the larger one personally. Now, I want to go over just a few little things about it so that you will know before you get yours that comes in the box. You'll have your machine. It also has this um, plate underneath. There you can see it. Um, where If you've had the machines before, it's the same kind of thing. It's just a plate there that you can sit it on so that it protects your work surface because this bad boy does get, um, you know, very hot. Obviously, my last 
the temp I was using last for this last project was the 385, so it's already connected to the um, Cricut Heat app, which I'll talk about more, and that's what it is just defaulting to go ahead and heat up to, which you can see the green light, it's already there, but it does have that little um, uh, heat pad or tray, <laughs> could not think of that, base, that you can um, set it on to protect it from heat. Now, the whole thing does come wrapped in a um, canvas, like drawstring bag to just protect the surface. So if you want to store in this and you're not going to be, you know, using it daily or something or frequently, you could store it in this to keep it free from, you know, getting messed up or dirty, dust, whatever. Now, it comes with, in the box, this Cricut logo iron on that you can use if you want to practice with your machine it suggests that you can press it onto the bag if you choose i didn't but you could do that if you wanted to practice or on something else on a you know a piece of fabric scrap that you have then you'll have your like little um owners or user manual and it will tell you about getting started to activate it and to set up the press. You are going to want to download the Cricut Heat app. And so um, I have my phone here where you'll be able to see as I walk through and showing you with the machine how you can do different things with it. Downloading the app super easy and then it will just automatically once you turn the machine on as long as you have Bluetooth turned on on your device or your phone it is going to connect to it on its own and you just walk through the prompts of you know the, it even knows which machine it is and all of that. And then you'll have your little user guide and so forth in there. So here we go. I want to show you the um the app real quick so I've got the hat press in here I've got the easy press 3 um, and the 12 by 10 and I need to do my 9 by 9 as well um, but it's super simple you just set up new heat press and then it will search for it once you've powered on the machine okay and that's all there is to it and then I'll show you the projects I did because I want to show you on here just how easy it is to walk through the process of completing a project because Everything is done for you on the app now. There's no more trying to look up what material I'm using, what my, um, like, I've got iron on, okay? And then I've got a shirt. Is it cotton? Is it poly blend? Like, what is it? And having to figure out what temps to set this to, how much time, then how much time do I need to, you know, do a little heat prep on my uh, shirt and, and things like that. So this tells you everything. It walks you through the steps. It even has little videos. It does details of what, you know, what you need to put, like if you need to use butcher paper with infusible ink, um, just those kinds of things. So that's what I really, really loved about the app now, which is making me want to create so many things because it's just right there at my fingertips. I don't have to go searching and figuring all of that out and trial and error, troubleshooting, you get it. So let's just show you real quick. I made this little shirt for my guy who will be starting preschool in the fall and so I thought this was such a cute little thing. I saw this rocket and he just loves rocket ships and um, and I thought it was so cute. So he he loves the moon and seeing it and, and so I thought this would be fun. And so I just created this. Now the rocket design here was already in Cricut's design space. So um, you know, you can definitely search there for different things, but if you wanted to recreate something similar and then I just made, got my own font. I used the curve, um, that curve tool in design space to make it go around you know the moon here with blast off to pre-k i just loved how that turned out so you could definitely do this for any grade if you wanted to change it now i did use the holographic iron on and i loved using it because of what my design here was of the rocket and the moon like you know are the stars you know stars shining and all and so i wanted something that would be you know um to go along with that so you could use any iron-on material that you wanted to, infusible ink, whatever your design, you know, kind of calls for. I will say the holographic iron-on is a thicker iron-on. I had not used it before, I guess because of the look and style. It is a thicker um, material, which will be fine. This isn't like a shirt that I'm wanting him to be able to wear every day, obviously. It'll be fun for those like first day photos or to wear, you know, throughout the year if he chooses. But I did love that look of it, so I had to go with that one. Um, so I want to just show you how you can set this up to go through your machine, and then I'm going to show you another project that I did as well using some infusible ink markers, so stay tuned for that. 
So here we are with our our devices that we already have loaded. Now, if you saw my hat press video, I did talk about this um, as well and showed you kind of the walkthrough. If you missed it, you can check it out down below in the description as well. Um, also, I forgot to mention, if you're interested in the Easy Press 3 or any of the other um, materials and things that I've used, you can check out the description below and I have everything linked for you. Now, here's the Easy Press 3. You select that which machine you're going to be using. You want to come here and hit Start New Project. Now, um, uh oh, let's see. I may have to get my internet turned on and just hope that no one um, will try to. Let's see. I'm going to hope no one interrupts me and tries to like call here. Okay. Let's see. Let's try this again. So now you'll see how it opens up. Now it's wanting to walk me through everything, isn't it? Okay, we'll let it do its thing. Maybe it updated or something. Okay, so let me go ahead and I'm going to sign in and then I will show it to you. So I was already logged in as you could see before, so I don't know why it's making me redo this, but you guys know me. I am raw and real here giving you the same kind of troubleshooting that you may have or run into right here. Um, there's nothing sugar-coated about it. Okay, and then you know it's one of those things where you put in the wrong password and you're going, that's my password, I know it is. <laughs> okay, so let me see if I got it this time. Okay, there we go. I believe I'm in here now. Okay, we're back. So we've got the um, all of the different machines. You're gonna scroll over and hit the one that you're using. Now, I wanted to show you last used, we'll show you if you, um, you'll see the holographic sparkle iron-on and the infusible ink that I did on a tote bag that I'll show you in a minute. You could just go out there if you're recreating it and everything would already be done. But I wanna just show you how to walk through it. So it's already you know found that we are connected, you'll see. Then we'll say our transfer material is going to be the holographic sparkle iron on and then um, our um, oh it's wanting to turn off because it's been on so long okay maybe it will keep going um, our Cricut or could just show that it's uh, uh, ready to go again our Cricut blank is what I'm using this is a Cricut blank it is a shirt from Cricut so that's why I'm going to go ahead and select it as a t-shirt there um, but you can choose whichever one, and then you want to go ahead and hit next, okay? Then is where I was showing you, you want to, you'll see all of these, like, settings, or you can click detailed instructions, but go ahead and hit, whoop, we turned off. Hit, um, send, see, it turned off, so now you'll see, it said disconnected, it came right back connected that fast. I love that. Send settings to Easy Press. So you'll see that all of the settings are being sent. I was almost, you know, I'm almost at temp anyways, because I just was, literally. But you'll see that it's sending those, um, those settings straight to the machine. Like, I didn't have to press any of the buttons. I'm just doing it right here on my app. And I love that. So it's going to work its magic and do all that. Now, I wanted to show you this right here. You'll see preheat the blank. It's showing you the process, like what you need to put in order as you're stacking your materials and getting them ready. Um, it's going to do detailed instructions here where you'll be able to see, you know, exactly how to layer, what to do if you want that instead. Especially if you're new with it, you may want to do something like that. Now, we can hit skip after we have preheat blank if we want to, or if you've already done it, um, then you'll go ahead and you can do, you know, see the next thing for how to press it. If it'll get back up, I guess it was wanting to, um, it was already cooling down so quickly. But even if it doesn't get back up to temp, you, you're good to go here. You're just click, 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 and you'll go right through the process and it will show you what it will do is once it's ready, of course, like you saw earlier, it will turn green then it will tell you what to do. You'll say, you know, start, or when you get your machine put onto your material, you'll hit that green button, that green arrow right there, and it will start counting it down automatically. You'll see a countdown on the phone as well, and then it'll tell you, like, for preheat, then you'll be ready. It'll go ahead and send the next settings to the phone for how, you, how long you should press it, and you just hit go. And I mean, it seriously walks you through the entire thing. It even tells you like to flip and press the back of the shirt and then how to um, do with peeling it off for a cool peel. On this one, you can hit make again or you can just hit done and you'll go straight back to that screen there and you can pick whatever project you're doing next, so forth, okay? So 
Um, I wanted to show you how simple the app is because it truly makes it a breeze to create now with the Easy Press machines, okay? Now, if you're wanting to know more about the buttons that you saw there on the top, if you are using it and you're manipulating these yourself and wanting to change things, this would be um, your countdown, you know, here, your countdown timer. Like this is 15 seconds is for the um, preheating of my material. And then this, of course, is your temp. This would be your power button. This is your like go when you're ready um, to start your countdown. You'll know. Um, It'll be green and then it'll start counting down and you'll see that once you click it. You have also a um, button up there for, okay, your temperature control. So if you, let's just say you wanted to change something here and you wanted to do it yourself and you're not necessarily using an app, let's say you don't, you don't have it close by and you know automatically and you want 360, then you would do that. You can press it again and it'll go off blinking or it will, um, it will uh, just flash and then eventually go to it. Then, um, well, I thought that would, let's see. Maybe I have to hit, okay, that's what you have to do. So you hit this and then it's gonna preheat up to it and it'll tell you. And then you've got your timer here. If I wanted to change that, like I wanna do a preheat, let's just say of 20 seconds, I've got 20. Now you'll see now I'm green. It got up to the 360 temp. It stayed on that 20 seconds. Let's just say I wanted to do a 20 second preheat and now I'm green. I'm good to go. I would press it. It's going to start counting down. Let's say up oh, my little one calls me. I'm not going to get to preheat it after all. I can just click it. It'll go right back to 20 and oops, sorry. And that just kind of stops it there. Of course, your up and down arrows to, you know, change that. Okay. So let me scoot this guy over. Be very careful moving it because it is very, very hot trust me <laughs> now the other project that i did i did with my little one and we had so much fun doing this together i used the cricut infusible ink markers so like it says they are heat activated and guys i know some of you are just gonna have a fit over these because look at the color choices that you get if you get this is this is the 30 marker set look at these i mean you have so many color shades variations and options it's not just like five of the um, like primary colors or something, which I have some of those I'm gonna show you because they have another feature with those. But I loved this. I loved having all of these. And these are a little bit of a, not like a super thick marker tip, but a, a 1.0, okay? Um, so let me then show you the other set of markers that they have. And these are, they have different color packs too, and they have like neons and things like that. But this is a, um, a freehand marker, dual tip. So you can do um, a thicker or a, um, a thicker or a thinner or like a hand lettered look, you can tell. Um, I just love that. So if you wanted to um, do like a letter design of your own or um, anything like that, if you wanted to just like have your little one color a, a design that you print off, which I'll show you, you could use something like this. But I had him use these and it worked great because of all the different colors. So he loved getting to choose those. And what I did, I will show you, is now if you are using anything with letters, words, you're going to have to mirror it. So what I chose was I went in um, design space and picked um, a letter for him. And then I just put all these different things, a little like coloring images that, because he's small, okay, I wanted something that would be, a, you know, easy for him to color and simple of things that he loves right now. And so I know that he would love these and be interested in coloring them. And of course, I wanted to jump in and be like, no, color this more and in the lines and, you know, but we have to let it go and let them have fun. And so he had a blast picking out colors and all the different ones that he, because uh, he just loves these things anyways. And then you want to make sure it's mirrored when you go to print it out from design space. I wanted to mention that, like I said, because if not, this is where you color, he colored, you're going to press it down opposite so that ink from the marker is going to transfer onto your material. So you want to make sure that, you know, you mirror it so that that stays not backwards once you get it flipped and pressed on your material. So very, very important for that. Um, I just put in my, um, I just took the black marker out of here. I put it in my clamp A of my Cricut Maker 3. This works with other Cricut machines as well. Um, check out below my other videos for Cricut and you can see more about the Maker and the other um, Explore machines too. But 
I put that black in the clamp and then of course you set all your settings and design space to using a marker. You can pick these exact ones as well. They've really got it nice in there now. And then it just drew all of these images you know, right onto my copy paper, okay? Then you will, once it does that, let them color it, have fun with it. I chose to put this on a um, canvas bag because I wanted him to have like a book tote when we go to the library that we know is designated for that and we can keep those books separate and in a, you know, a safe place so they're not getting um, confused with other ones. So I wanna be real here. I pressed and did not press hard or a good enough press I was distracted with my little ones as well um, and had to uh, handle something so I didn't get as good of a press as I wanted not all of my heat on certain images pressed through so trying to realign this and get it lined up just right to repress is not gonna work it just doesn't and I knew that going into it but I did it anyways because I wanted to show you guys so like I told you earlier in this video I'm real raw honest and that's what I wanted to um, I want to show you so I have this tote bag this is just a canvas tote bag I got this one off Cricut site as well um, I love it it's the perfect size for books um, I want to say this is like a 14 by something but I could be wrong um, they have two different sizes they have this one that's more square and then one that's kind of longer and I used it, I made a beach bag that I shared with you guys before, and that's a lot of fun. So here is the bag. Now, like I said, I got messed up with having to reset it. So you're gonna see where it did do like a little shadowed image on some of them. Now, I am like not torn out of the frame about it. Normally that would bother me so bad, but this is his bag, okay? I even like put a date. We can look back at this for years to come and see his artwork and it doesn't bother me at all that some of the lines are like that because I mean honestly his coloring and what he chose to do is you know it is perfect for his age and so seeing that things are not just right and it kind of you know shadowed is like not a deal breaker it is perfectly fine okay and I just love it I think it gives it that fun little character for his age if I can I mean I guess if you could say that and so that's why I'm, I'm I'm so loving it I love 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 seeing the colors he picked out for different things and just seeing his personality come through so do not worry or fret if it doesn't go just right if you have your little ones working with you um, just let them have fun with it and don't put any pressure that it has to be perfect and let it just be a fun memory so when I look back at this bag for years to come I'm not going to be thinking ugh. I'm so annoyed that that didn't work right. I'm gonna think back, oh my goodness, what a fun time you know that we had, him coloring all these fun things that he likes getting ready um, for that preschool year. And so one thing is really fun about this is you could use this as a um, school year kicking off type of gift where you could, like you could totally have them color their picture and don't let them know what it's for. Put it on here and this is what I'm gonna do. Then you could put different fun school supplies um, books, uh, you know, toys, things like that to do like a little kickoff school year gift and use this as your gift bag and include their little shirt in there that they could wear for the first day. That's what my plan is. I think that'll be a lot of fun to do and um, get their little picture in it. So um, just a thought there, if you wanted to do something fun, like I said, I've done this before um, with a, doing a beach bag. So that's a really fun idea. If you want to just get the kids together and have fun creating this summer and give them something to do to um, on those rainy days when you're inside I think this is a great project for that as well um, and it gets you you know gets them creative and doing some fun things this summer instead of just wanting to you know watch TV or whatever <laughs> so anyways I hope you guys love these projects that I created um, for my little guy for back to school or just some fun summer projects and um, the easy press three like I said which I'm in love with these two, but the Easy Press 3 with the Heat app is a total, total, total game changer. That word may be used a lot, but it is so true with this because you saw how I just went through the steps on my phone and it made it so easy. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off so it can start cooling down because it's been on for a bit of time now, but it made it so simple and so easy now that I'm not intimidated by um, trying to come, you know, do a new project. So, if you are brand new to an EasyPress machine, 
this is incredible to make it so simple with all those steps um, to take out all the grunt and hard work. You just get to create and have fun. Now, they do have the 12 by 10, the 9 by 9, and then they also have a little mini one that you can get for other projects that maybe like if you're wanting to iron something onto a canvas tennis shoe that you know in those little places may be um harder to get to and you couldn't do that with this obviously it's more handheld it's a really fun tool as well so check out all of that down below in the description any of that goodies that you saw that i used today you can check those out um if you have any specific questions on something that i didn't explain about the easy press 3 or the projects materials leave those down in the comments and i would love to help you out I hope that you guys enjoyed this, that it was helpful, and let me know um, if you um, would love to see anything else with their new um, Easy Presses or products. I would love to share that, and I will see you guys again soon. Make sure you are subscribed. Click that bell icon so you know when the next video is coming out, and I will see y'all then. All right. Bye-bye.